Hot Tamale by Hirsch, Shanley's Hip Hip Hop, and Second Line Joe Avery Blues, arranged by Goins. Please welcome, under the direction of Ben Posey, the Robert F. Bumpus Middle School Jazz Band.
finish uh, with a traditional piece called Second Line, uh, which is going to be featuring Jay Dodd, Elijah Burns again on trumpet, Tyler on uh, Stevens on trumpet, Lucas Giovaduto on alto saxophone, Braden Fitzpatrick, also known as Little Fitchy, on trombone, Tara Sagusa on, uh, which is actually clarinet, his clarinet got chipped early, so he's going to be playing on tenor sax today. Um, Jay Dodd on trumpet, Maria Butler on alto saxophone, and Lincoln Anderson on tuba. All right, hope you enjoy six, uh, second line.
Hello, Bumpus Middle School. My name is Meredith Foreman, and I am one of the adjudicators for the National Jazz Festival 2022. Now, before we get started, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you on such a wonderful and exciting performance. I was overjoyed to see so many students expressing themselves through the art of music. I can tell that you all have a love for jazz music and are committed to being the best you can be. In this video, I will walk you through your shortest performance piece and comment on various themes that were consistent throughout your set. It is our hope that my comments along with the other two judges written comments will provide you with a balanced perspective on different aspects of your performance. And I hope these comments help to elevate your performance to the next level and validate the work that you've done thus far. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna share my screen with you so that you guys can see and follow along, all right? So bear with me for a second. All right, there we go, let's do this. There you go with some dynamics at the end of that last note there. It was great. So now let's do a little bit of a recap on a lot of different things that I heard. All great stuff. First of all, I would like to congratulate you guys because that was awesome. Your entire set was awesome. Um, also, I appreciated the enthusiasm and the energy and the music and in the rhythm section. I know I mentioned you guys were a little bit loud back there. 
but that doesn't mean you guys weren't playing well. You guys were killing it, all right? <laughs> so you want to make sure that your function is always to support the band. And you want to make sure that you're never overplaying, but you're just cooking. You're stirring a pot, you're cooking, and that you're kicking the band, right? You don't want to run them over. You just want to kick them a little bit and give them the energy that they need in order to, you know, to project and to sell the music properly. Uh, brass players and sax players. Occasionally, I noticed that you guys were rushing the ends of your phrases, um, especially if you had and beats on the end of your phrases. So what I want you guys to do moving forward, make sure that you're always paying attention to what the drummer is doing. Now, he had a really great time, and so did the cowboy player. The entire rhythm section did, actually. So you want to make sure that he's playing eighth notes on the on the hi-hat or if there's a or if the keyboard player is playing some type of eighth note you need to figure out who has that eighth note pattern in the rhythm section and you have to make sure that your eighth notes lock in with exactly the same placement that that person is putting it in because wherever they're putting it is where it's going to be tight is where it's going to be locked in so if it's going ba -da -ba -dee -da -ba 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 -dee -da, you want to also pay attention to if it's long and short things like that because if they do have a long quarter note pr prior to a short note, you want to make sure that you give it that full length volume because that'll help it to not rush, all right? But if you're doing that and somebody over there is doing this in the rhythm section, you got ba da ba dee da ba 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 dee da That's quarter notes, right? But in between those quarter notes, there's always some type of rhythmic value that's happening, right? Subdivision. So you want to make sure that those two quarter notes that will line up with these quarter note tempo beats, which is what the drummer was doing most of the time, you want to make sure that they line up together. So if I sing that same phrase again, and then I clap for you, you'll see where the quarter notes line up. You want to pay attention to places where the rhythm section has the same rhythm that you do and put it in the same spot. So check it out. You want to make sure that you line those phrases up together. And it's going to totally lock in the band, not make it feel like it's tearing or rushing, but it's going to give it this more relaxed feeling overall. And that's where people want to groove. That's where they want to dance. So you want to make sure that you find those moments in every piece that you do, not just this one, even in sing, 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 right? You want to know where it's going to line up. So that way, you know, to put it right in the same spot and the band is going to stay locked. They're going to be right there. All right. Um, thinking about the rhythm section here, I'm looking over there and I'm noticing um, that you, you have all the players that you need to make this happen, but I didn't hear everybody all the time because I did notice that the, the drummer and the percussionist were pretty much killing it. Their, their sticks were all the way up here a lot of the time. You want to make sure that depending on the part of the tune, right, if it's a big shout chorus, yeah, you let it rip. But if it's not that, you want to make sure that your volume level is always supporting the band. Never really go above a mezzo forte, all right? And until you need to, until you need to do that, all right? Uh, let me see what else there uh, I might have had for you. Um, one thing, I'm noticing this room is really large, right? So in some ways, it was probably just very boomy in the room. Um, so what you can do as a rhythm section player, a drummer or a percussionist is find ways to mute the overtones of the drums just a little bit. You don't want it to sound completely dead but you'd like to maybe get rid of some of the ring. So what you can do is you can find things. They have these gels, um, which are basically, mute, it mutes the drum. It stops the vibration of the drum head just a little bit. So you still get a sound, um, but it doesn't ring for a long period of time. These are, this is what a lot of studio musicians use because the microphone placement and everything, it helps it to just give it a nice punch and then the, the decay is faster. You might want to think about doing that. I'm not sure if you have that in the bass drum already if, or have something muting the bass drum a little bit more, but you might want to consider doing that. So every time you hit it, it's not a big echo, boom, boom. You might want to have it be a little bit less of an echo, which is more of a thud by putting something inside of the drum, all right? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing my screen now so I can get back to you guys and see you and say a proper goodbye. Um, I would like to thank you guys for your video submission. And I want you to know that I enjoyed every single piece. I appreciate that you guys really took your time to study the music and to get the true essence of each piece during no matter what era the music was from or no matter where the music was from. I really appreciated that. And um, I would like to take this opportunity to wish you guys uh, much luck in this festival. And wish you guys luck with the remainder of your school year and all of your concerts. 
And I hope you guys continue playing forever and ever in, in your future. Um, it's a really big band, which means your program is booming. And I congratulate you for that. Um, let's keep that tradition going. Good luck, everybody. I wish you all the best. Peace.